How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the demo for the upcoming game She Dreams Elsewhere. This is a free demo, you can play it yourself right now. There will be a link down below and I want to personally thank the developer for sending it my way. It, normally it doesn't mean a whole lot because it's a, a free game, but they did share a little bit about their story. They started working on this game when they were 18. It's been in development for three years now. It draws on a lot of personal experiences they've had with depression and anxiety. One of the main themes they wanted to have in the story here is that it's okay to not be okay. So it's a surreal JRPG adventure to battle through these these personal demons. Quite quite literally. Yeah, the developer specifically reached out saying that it would fit well with some of the JRPG style stuff I was doing on the channel already anyways, and that they thought it was a game that I, I might appreciate. So thank you. Thank you for that. Strong language and sensitive topics. Given the preamble I just had, that's that's a bit of a given. Uh, it's actually also showed up on like Reddit a few times recently, this game specifically, just highlighting like how unique and cool the, the art style is on this one. So I, I'm pretty cool, I'm pretty excited to to be able to play it now and share it with you guys, because I, I bet you some of you have seen this game pop up here and there as well. I'm, I'm immediately digging the cool underwater effects. Uh, I don't think I can interact with anything. Talia is our is our main character here. We have items, skills, equipment, status, options, data, ba, 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 all pretty basic seeming stuff. 507 whatever currency is. That seems like a good amount to me. That's a it's <laughs> a pretty strong start. Most games you start with zero dollars in your pocket. So 507 seems like a lot. Hopefully it's a currency where that actually will matter <laughs> to some extent. I'm curious how much the character is aware that they're living through a dream or if they just think that like you know because when when you're dreaming you're usually not aware it's a dream I'm trying to interact with things and nothing's nothing's happening uh, but usually you're not aware you're in a dream right so it would be very interesting if the character is just kind of going through this very traumatic thing of, of being in a coma without actually being aware of it themselves they just think they woke up one day in, real in reality they didn't you were a lost child they woke up into a weird underwater space world hard to know what's going on so very very lost but I shall guide you nonetheless Ooh, thank you floating brick I'm, I what a wonderful spirit guide really represents me <laughs> as a person Take this power and face the darkness that lies within you. Mm, so they are very specifically addressing that, you know, it's a within thing. That the problems and evils come from within. Acquired the power of Dreamcatcher. And it's a cool looking, like, sword next to it. Or it's just supposed to be, like, an icon to represent that it's magical in some way. Oh, the music is layering together very coolly. There's like this ethereal dream sequence music layering with like impending horror and doom. Like it's a weird mix, but it's very effective. What a confusing tone to try and set and done very, very well. Do not be afraid. Well, I'm going to be a little bit afraid. A weird skull monster showed up and then shattered reality. So I'm a little worried. Mm, so that was just showing me that that uh, dream catcher falls under attack, I suppose. That's what I was wondering if it, the icon was a stand-in for something like that. Skills limit. Uh, probably have to spend like SP or, or LP. Maybe you gotta charge up LP and do something like that. Well, obviously we'll just go with uh, the regular attack for now. Hmm, attack is just an attack. So is dream catcher a skill? No. I, I guess maybe that probably is just the weapon I'm using. Roast. Roost? Roast. <laughs> Delivers a sick, confidence-destroying burn. Oh, you're going for the uh, the personal attacks on this one. We're trying to damage this thing emotionally. 50% chance to set the enemy aflame. And freeze. Talk about a stone-cold killer. Except you don't kill. 50% chance of freezing. Well, let's try it out. Thalia freezes the enemy in place. It also did a bunch of damage. And presumably, I, like, I'm fast enough to go first, or you can see in the corner there, the turn, the turn order rotating things around. Safe and sound. Managed to escape that one, like, bad thought is kind of what I, how I'm picturing 
that these things are. Maybe it's our overarching consciousness, like, uh, repeatedly attacking us, but maybe it's, like, individual thoughts. Well done. There will be many challenges ahead of you, each more daunting than the last. Will you go forth and persevere, or will you succumb to the shadows within you? I would like to persevere. I, yeah, strength. I gotta find that inner strength. I, it's time, time to put the child behind and become the woman I was born to be. I, I, I don't want to succumb. Ooh, do you think I could have actually, if another fish like that darts by, oh yeah, I wanted, I wanted to encounter it. I wanted to see if I could fight it. I don't know what's going on at the top of the screen there. It seems like something's just kind of bugging out a little bit. Uh, probably just an artifact from the, the interesting, cool effects that they have applied here, like the lighting and, and the wavy water effects and stuff like that. Uh, so I, I don't think that's actually like an intentional part of the game. Ooh. Speaking of, speaking of colors, that was kind of a cool little color shift. The game's auto advancing me right now. Talia. Wow. Just Myron? Myron yourself? Pretty, isn't it? Us? Thank you. Yes, I will take that compliment. The mirror, that is. Not you. Mmm. Subversive burns. Not a fan of that. I was just so ready to have a confidence boost. Who? Who are you? Who? 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 I felt that that was necessary. You really don't remember, do you? Second time around and nothing's changed about you. Well, you can't say I'm surprised. Disappointed, but not surprised. Mm. Maybe we're dealing with a recurring uh, battle with depression and, and things like that. It's not the first time we've, we've been through some of this. That's another thing is that I think we intentionally don't know what has put Talia into a coma. That's part of what we're solving through playing. Please, tell me something. Anything. What is this place? How did I get here? Why can't I remember anything? Please. You want help? Okay, no problem. I think the help that this guy is going to give is not going to be the kind of help we want. It'll be my pleasure. Oh, shit. <laughs> this guy's lightning fast. Okay, that shattering effect is cool. Ooh, giggles to herself. Somehow, uh, amidst all the bandages and robbery and stuff like that, I guess we were still able to determine that it was a female. Probably, probably from the voice. I was clearly doing a female's voice. Raving reverie. Unleash all your pent-up anger into a fury of attacks at all enemies, decreases your defense and speed for three turns. Shit. But yes, it, that's totally what it is. You have to use your limit points or whatever LP is that you build up by doing other things. Uh, two, two armor going on? Do I, that's like a, something I'm going to have to break through. I'm probably not meant to win this battle, am I? Let's try and burn them. I want, I wanted to see if it was just like, your robe looks stupid. It's very unflattering. I, I wanted to see if there was actually some sort of real robe that got dished out here. Hmm. Uh, look at you, giving it your all. That's so adorable. Now that you've had your fun, why don't we make this quick? I was kind of curious when you were going to start attacking back. Cast Shade. Talia didn't make it. Yeah, that was uh, a little intense. Stop, I can't take this anymore. I just want to go home. Oh, so is that like the, you know, this character is throwing, throwing shade? <laughs> oh, my, <laughs> sweetie, this is your home now. And we're just getting started. Sweet dreams, Talia. More musical references. Not actually. Ooh. So it's not that the entire world was blue. Well, that was the case. But it's not like that we were just uh, being cast in that sh same all-encompassing light. We are, are blue. Very, very stylish. Ah! <laughs> the sound effects of the dog jumping up are kind of great. Ah, Laurie! Ooh. It's actual, like, music with lyrics in the background. That's not very common unless it's, like, a credit sequence of a game like this. 
Oh, wow. That was too real. But are we still in a dream? Because I feel like that's an important part of the story, is being in dreams and stuff. So I, I feel like we maybe haven't broken out. Shit, what time is it? 9 p.m. Great. Way to go, dipshit. I've been up less than a minute, and already this day is ass. At least it can't get any worse, right? Is the idea that the character is just depressed and, like, just slept the day away? Fuck people. Coming. Oh, weird that it didn't, uh, introduce me to these mechanics before, but I guess there was nothing to interact with. Nothing but a bunch of books I've never read in here. Eh, yeah, pick one up, try and read one. A little bit of escapism. Good boy. Is this uh, a closet? Nope, just a bathroom. Uh, I should probably clean this thing one of these days. See, I think it's a this is an unmo unmotivated character calling himself pathetic in the bathroom mirror. I guess I'm out of soap. Eh, whatever. Washing hands is for nerds anyway. Just a bunch of makeup. It's cheap, but it works. Yeah, it's kind of sad seeing a character with such self-defeating thoughts that they're they're like not willing to put the effort in. They're just looking for any opportunity to put themselves down, uh, be it their appearance or the effort they're willing to put in the day. It's kind of uh, interesting to see a game that's not shying away from that at all. Ugh, there's a bunch of clogged hair in the drain. Wait, it's mine. Huh. Still gross, though. No intention of doing anything about it, I can presume. Nothing good on. Ugh, screw this thing. All that effort getting it up here and it barely even works. Don't know why Mama insisted I take it, but hey, if it makes her happy, so be it. It was a little weird to have a... It can still go fuck itself, though. It is kind of weird having a grandfather clock. As, like, a young adult... But in general, I don't know anyone who actually has one, I don't think, old or young. Looking in the fridge for the millionth time isn't going to restock it, doofus. Let's just order more pizza. Oh wait, there actually is something in here. You got green tea. Well that'll be a nice pick-me-up, some antioxidants, that'll get us through the day. Full of dirty dishes. I don't care what anyone says, rinsing is as good as washing. I, uh, I kind of split the middle on that one, just personally. Depends on what was on the dish. <laughs> Not a hill I'm gonna die on, though. It's a microwave, stupid. I was curious. It was quite... I was quite certain, but I wanted to know for sure. Ah, yes, the oven. Savior of many a lazy night. Just heat up some old chicken wings or something. Pinot Noir, a classic choice. Man, it's almost empty. Jeez, how much did I drink last night? Enough to sleep away the entire day. Oh yeah, there's some ordered ordered pizza. Shit, I forgot to put the pizza in the fridge last night. Will I still eat it though? Is that even a question? I don't care how sad you are or if you're the happiest person alive, you would still eat that pizza. <laughs> ah, wine, a girl's best friend. And some men. Hmm, what better way to lift my spirits than going through unpaid bil bills? Let's deal with, <laughs> with the way I stuttered through that. I started accidentally turning into the Bill Nye the Science Guy theme song. Let's deal with that, like, tomorrow. Shall we? Or never? Eh, never sounds about right. Well, this sh if only. This short tour through Talia's uh, room here. She's got a very nice little space for herself. But man, does it ever paint a picture of, uh... This character's not doing well. Oh, hey. Amia. Am Amia. I've never known an Amia in my entire life. Ha! <laughs> someone seems grumpy. Oh, that's the last thing a depressed person wants, is someone teasing them for seeming grumpy. Fuck you. Sorry, I'm just a little tired. Please, don't tell me you just woke up. And if I did, don't question my poor life choices. Of course not, I just always look like ass. Of course not, there you go. You should know this by now. Oh, I do. I'm just wondering if you do. Oh, okay, apparently our friends are not really up for our bullshit. They've kind of been watching us circle the drain for so long that the self-deprecating humor stopped being funny a while ago. Trust me, I'm very well aware, thank you. Anyway, what's up? 
Kick back. My place. Now. Couldn't you have just texted me this? I did, asswipe. Seven hours ago. Oh, uh, well, pretty much busted that we never got out of bed till 9 p.m. Hey, don't give me that face. You know I'm right. It's called Do Not Disturb. Haven't you heard of it? It's called Do Not Disturb. Haven't you heard of it? Come on, get dressed all nice and sexy and shit. I've got weed. Well, <laughs> you convinced me. No need to twist my arm. You know how to win a girl's heart. What can I say? The ladies love me. Ah, can I just wear what I'm already wearing? That seems easier. Shit. Now I actually have to put on clean clothes and talk to people. Must be hard being a functioning member of society. I know. Fuck me, right? Fuck you indeed. Now get dressed, loser. We're getting wasted. Mm, maybe Amy is a bit of an uh, enabler rather than someone who's gonna, you know, pick us out of our slump. Also, do something about this pizza. This shit smells. Oh man, maybe it's older than 24 hours. Maybe that's from like a few days ago pizza. In which case, I'm, I'm less uh, inclined to eat a slice. But you know, we'll, we'll just give it a quick mold inspection. I'm sure. I'm sure if you give it a once over, it'll be fine. Do I have to shower first? I should probably shower first. Better get to it then. Uh, it's the the closet is sparkling, but I wanted to see if this is an option. Ugh, bunch of clogged hair. Yeah, I guess we're not bothering with any of that. Amia probably doesn't want to wait for us anyways. Hmm, what to wear? Ah, I know. How about the same shit I wear every day? That'll work. Yeah, and some nice half-washed stained sweatpants and like a, a jogger or something. That, that'll do the trick. You received the same shit I wear every day. Quite the ensemble we put together for ourselves there. Real, uh, real eye catcher. Yeah, not too happy with it. Ugh, is this what I really look like? Like, is this actually me? And nobody said anything yet? I need to start working out. Maybe get a gym membership or something? Or start jogging? Or yoga? Maybe Pilates? Wait, are those the same thing? I can't remember. I might have to put it off for a few more days while I do some research. Damn it. Maybe I should just stay home. I still feel foggy from earlier. Is that a good excuse? No. Fuck it. I'll do it. Come on, Talia. Get it together. Stop being a little bitch. What's the worst that could happen? Right. Let's do it then. I'm, I'm imagining a bit of a kind of false forced enthusiasm there. Hey, hopefully I fed you. Well, at the very least, you have old-ass pizza you can dig into, but I, I hope I'm not a negligent owner. Oh, what do you know? We have 11 green teas. Which seems like uh, a little bit uh, excessive, but it's the best thing in the world. So uh, maybe maybe it's not so insane. Revives a knocked-out party member, the angel's wing. You rub it in an ally's face and it wakes him up. I don't really know how that works either. I kind of like how they're stretching real-world objects into fitting, like, an RPG narrative. It minuses the state of death. <laughs> uh, what am I? Nothing. Weapons, gear, important. The same shit I wear every day. Too broke to get new clothes and too comfy to even care. At least it's clean, right? Well, we, we have 527 bucks. We could probably buy new clothes, but that's, like, pizza and rent money, first and foremost, is my, my assumption there. Uh, equip? Okay, this is just how you change, change out different things. Peacefully quiet. Peaceful quiet is your weapon. I'm not really sure where this came from, to be honest. Ooh, did you pick it up from your dream? Oh, her class is the dreamer. Interesting. Okay, well, hopefully we pick up some characters that are, uh, maybe more of, of actual fighters. What's up? What's up, Lari? Whoa, chill out. I'll be back before you know it. Oh, come on, dog. Hey, what's gotten into you? Listen, you be a good boy while I'm gone, all right? See you later. Oh, the dog knows something's amiss. Oh, God, what is with the, these mannequins or whatever the hell's going on in the hallway here? They're having a private conversation. Seems pretty serious. Oh, maybe it's closer to, like, Anomalisa? 
a weird animated Charlie Kaufman movie. Uh, but it was like kind of like claymation, not really, it was stop motion. But all the characters had the same face and voice, and it was just like this incapacitating symptom that the, the main character in that movie had. And so maybe Talia is kind of like disassociated from society to an extent that like individual people don't really stand out as individuals anymore. Might be best to leave them be. It's easier to shut yourself off from the world and not interact with them when you can just say that there's nothing unique or special about these people. They're not worth getting to know. Guess no one's home. That's very bold of a, a shy, depressed person to go knocking on a stranger's door. Hey, this guy's willing to talk. Hey, uh, do you know what's going on here? Amya's throwing a party. Oh, we're actually at her- we made it all the way to her place. Gotcha. We're not just, like, in the hallway of our own building. Oh. Uh, am I invited? I don't know. Not my party. Oh. Okay. Oh, maybe me and Ami are, like, in the same building. Do you want to party with me? Uh, I think I'll pass. I'm not much of a party person. Anyway, but we're going to a party now. Uh, lie and say you're going somewhere else. Tell him it's your best friend's thing. None of his business. Nah, walking away, that's a little extreme. We'll go the best friend route. It's hosted by my best friend, so I kind of have to go, you know? Hey, maybe some other time? Uh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean to make you feel guilty for, like, being bold and asking someone if they want to party together. No one's home here either. I guess we keep hitting up strangers. Oh man, where could she be? He completely ignores your presence. Thank God. Oh, wait, who's this in the crazy outfit then? Horace! Yo, Talia! What's cracking? Hey, Horace, how's it going? Uh, not too good, actually. I accidentally locked myself out and I can't find my key. Again? Yeah. Bummer! Well, I'll keep an eye out <laughs> for it. Maybe, maybe if you guys live in the same building and you're like kind of friends, you should uh, swap keys. Keep keep spares at someone else's house, you know? Ah, oh, you're the best, Talia. See you at Amiya's place? Yeah, sure. Bet! See you in a bit! I've never personally used bet in that, like, style, but I like it. And I've seen other people do it. I should try to remember to incorporate that into my own daily vernacular. This one time I tried putting a waffle in my toaster, right? But apparently I undercooked it because it was frozen when I bit into it. So you you made egos. You're telling a story about the time you made egos? I think you're making it out to be more exciting than it is. With syrup already on that bitch too. And no microwave either. Ugh. Wow, that's the worst story I've ever heard. Not that it was a bad story. That I, I, I genuinely feel so bad for you that you had to go through such a miserable experience. Just awful. I mean, did you still eat it? Well... I ain't about wasting money, bro. Yeah, that's fair. I would have eaten that shit too. Ugh, why is it always raining around here? Can't we have one sunny day for crying out loud? Actually, I love the rain. I hope it keeps going, honestly. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Unlike you, I actually have to go outside in it. Why don't you find something else to do besides laze around all day, huh? Yikes. God, what a dick. The yeah, fuck that guy. I, maybe we actually know him, but we don't know him well enough to, like, assign a name to him or a, a face or anything. So, yeah, full on fuck that guy. Maybe we stop and get ourselves a quick snack. Please select an item. I would like... Nope, we already have so much of all of that. I think we're fine. Thank you. Please come again. The vending machine is please coming again us. Uh, well, this door is the only one that we can actually interact with. Hmm. Not Amya, I don't think. I don't know what she looks like from the front. Hey, Jackie! How's it going? Talia. You're... and great... and all? I'm... I'm so confused by that sentence. Probably she's just distracted by the TV or something. But if you don't get out of the way of my... You're great and all. I think the first and was a, a mistake. If you don't get out of the way of my TV, I swear to almighty God. Point taken. I'll talk to you some other time, yeah? Yeah, sure, fine, whatever. Oh, by the way, you're still late on the rent. Man, we just barged into our landlord's place here. 
I know, I'm really sorry. I'll have it for you soon. That's what you said last time, dear. Look, I know things have been rough for you lately, but I can I, 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 uh, can only be so lenient. <laughs> you understand? Yes. I'm sorry. I'll have it for you as soon as I can. Define soon. End of this week? I promise. You better. Ah, I really put, put on the spot there. Well, bye. We kind of put ourselves on the spot by barging into her apartment here. Some tacky game show. Perfect fit for Jackie. Jackie's that bitch. Just a bunch of Jackie's things. Seems like she's really into reading. Maybe we snag a bottle of wine for the, the party? I guess Jackie's more of a champagne type gal. Filled with mint tea. Gross. I only drink green tea. Knowing Jack, Jackie, it's probably full of Soylent or something. We're, we were told pretty clearly to get out of here, but nah, nah, we're, we're doing our own thing, it's fine. Nothing of interest, really. Feels kind of hot around here. Seems like she just used it. And let's not. Fair enough, that's enough uh, landlord harassing for, for one second, I think. I want to see what's going on in the far side of the building here. Hmm. Okay, there's plenty else going on. So then, is this not an elevator like I thought it was? Maybe I should uh, stop and investigate this before I move on and check out anything else. I don't get why they keep these things if no one waters them. Wait, what am I doing? Amy's apartment is on this floor. Never mind then. The dev said that this uh, demo is around an hour, but I bet you because I'm taking it so slow it might be closer to like two. Ugh, oh man, it's not looking good, boys. Charming. Let's leave him be. He's either wasted or drugged up on something. Oliver. Ah, oh, snap. What's up, Talia? Hey, Ollie. What's new? Oh, not much. I see you finally decided to come out of hiding. Of course, gotta show the fans a little love every now and then. Well, we were dying, Talia. Dying! Come on, let's... Oh, no, this guy's going full rampaging bull mode. Just seeing red. Hey, baby. Is that, is that your real hair or weave? Because I've... Uh, wait. Fuck. <laughs> wait, is this drunk asshole just suddenly about to bomb on us? Junk dude. Come on, baby, let's dance. Dude, you can barely stand up right now. No worries, Talia. I got your back. Ooh, it looks like Oliver's got like a little bit of a, a, a some pout, some pout in his lips there. I also like his uh, angular facial hair thing he's got trimmed in. Ooh, both of us get to go before this drunk loser. Let's get this over with and hit him where it hurts. His balls! If you strike an enemy's weakness twice, they'll be stunned for a whole turn. Experiment with different skills and try it out. Okay, so maybe we specifically try and see if his weakness is uh, burns. Oh, damn, that does a lot of damage, doesn't it? Uh, ooh, Oliver is stylish. Uh, and this would be Roast Sweet Rhythm, that's a new one. Play a sweet beat. Restore a small amount of HP to one ally. ally sneeze. Gross. Poisons an enemy doing damage after every turn. Ally vive Vivace? Play in a lively, brisk manner. Revives a KO'd ally with a small amount of HP and encourage your friends to keep going. Buffs an ally's attack and defense for three turns. Hmm. Oliver is kind of a sweet support character. He's got a shitload of useful seeming items. Oh, so, okay, so we have those two downs in front of him. Did that, did we do it? Did we stun him? Or did he activate something? I have a feeling we stunned him. I hope we're just, like, punching this guy straight in his nutsack. Seems like what he deserves. No, we shattered him into oblivion. He's gone forever. Safe and sound. That's just how things go on the street. Ooh, espresso. That's a new, a new one that I didn't have before. Oh, we leveled up. A pretty good boost to the stats, like HP, MP, attack and stuff. That's like a pretty good, pretty nice beefiness. And shock is our new skill. So the same way that we like freeze and burn people with our with our devastating candor, we can also shock them with crazy outlandish statements. If you bought a dog today, you would still outlive it. That's terrible. That's much more upsetting than it is shocking or anything like that. That's terrible. Ah, uh, this is why I don't go out. 
Thanks for the help, Ollie. Anytime. Jeez, talk about a real prick. I hope Ollie kind of hangs around. He was very useful. I don't even know how he got here. Well, looks like he'll be staying a little longer. <laughs> well, we'll deal with it in the morning. Lots of people here. How long has this been going? Cleaning's gonna be a bitch, though. How long have people been here? Awful lot of people. How long has this been going on? I don't know. I haven't really paid attention to the time. I see. There really ought to be more earlier parties, you know? That's what I said. Everybody comes super early, then everybody's in bed by like 1 a.m. Yeah, just like a few nights ago, I was up to like 3 or 4, and it just, I'm still recovering from it. It was awful. But alas, Ami is the party planner, so she gets her late parties. And I get a headache in the morning. Adulthood, am I right? Ugh. I feel like when you're an adult, you should probably start making the choices to not stay up that late and party responsibly if you still want to party. But I haven't figured that out yet, so I would not expect these characters to either. You know what? Screw this hallway. Let's go inside. Oh, shit! God damn it, what broke this time? Man, what did I get myself into now? I'm gonna check up on this dude. Ooh, nah, he's toast. Seems like it's uh, been pretty thoroughly dealt with. We'll just keep weaving our way through random rooms. Is that guy dressed up like a, like, a shredder? Or something bookcase by the fridge interesting choice Lex and as I expected it's filled with all types of nerdy shit Wow that's a signed limited edition Carmen Cavacasa DVD ah if only it were mine sadly my wallet has other plans I uh, just got a little upset by that one I'm sure he won't mind if I take a little peek now ah, we stole a magic soda Thought we were just gonna peek before we made that sort of decision. Surprisingly clean. At least it's cleaner than mine. Seems like you've set the bar quite low, honestly. It's a picture of the Space Geese fleet from Starlight Adventure. Fuck those geese. <laughs> You're just not having it, eh? How cute. And what kind of nerdy shit you watching? He's watching anime. I think it's a new Twilight? Actually. Wouldn't really figure him to watch it dubbed, but okay. Ooh, he's watching dubs over subs. The fool. Doesn't he know the internet will never forgive such a transgression? Uncultured swine. Well, what do you got to say here, Lex? What's you up to? What's you dressed as? Ah, Talia. New episode of Sola Solar is on. Care to join me? That does sound better than hanging out with everyone else. I'm kind of curious if you joined our team, if you would, like, bring a hockey stick like Casey. He's equal parts Casey and Shredder. Don't know why I keep referencing Ninja Turtles. I wish, but I'm just stopping by. I'm on my way to Amia and Oliver's place. Ah, I see. I would go, but couldn't bear to miss a new episode. You need a PVR, my dude. And also, I wasn't invited. But that's neither here nor there. Hey. If it was my place, you'd be welcome anytime. Not to worry, I've got my anime, so I'm thriving right now anyway. Do -do -do -do. There's a, just a weird like musical note there, do not sure exactly what that signifies, that he's just feeling fine. Ask him how his cosplay is going, ask him if he's seen anything good or bounce. A lot of the cosplay is what I'm specifically curious about. So how is your cosplay coming along? Looks pretty sweet. Uh, it's acceptable, I suppose. Missing a few parts for it, though. I can't find them anywhere. At least not for a decent price. How much? Oh, I don't know. I think it was about uh, 8,000. 8,000! Maybe nine? Jesus. Are you making a costume or an Iron Man suit? If all goes, if all goes according to plan, both. <laughs> okay, dude, you made it weird. That was a joke. Please laugh. Hardy har. There you go, you salvaged it by being uncomfortable as all hell. Everyone loves social awkwardness. Well, it's been real, Lex, but I gotta get going. Of course, stop in anytime, milady. The door's always open. For the love of God, stop saying milady. Ah, very well. My apologies, milady. <sighs> Damn it. 
<laughs> that was him criticizing himself, not us. Oh, what do you know? He just crawled into his bed. We don't want to send the wrong message, though. Let's get back out of there immediately. I really, really don't want to find out what's in here. Mmm. I wouldn't think I would want to, but now you've piqued my interest. It's the rare UK variant poster of the movie Death and the Hitman. Talk about overrated. I don't know, that description, that title was kind of outstanding. Sure makes me want to check it out. Is it about time that we go and uh, join up with this party? Seems like we've kind of been dodging it this whole time. That kind of fits the bill though, that's uh, part of the course, I guess I should say. Is, uh, someone who is social has social anxiety doing everything they can to avoid a party. No idea who those people are, and I don't care. The less obligatory socializing I have to do tonight, the better. Yeah, that's fair. Let's set the tone and skip out. Oh, hey! Took you long enough. Yeah, I decided to ping pong around talking to strangers for 20 minutes first. Ah, uh, you didn't have to wait out here for me. It's no biggie. I needed some fresh air anyway. Yeah, or you broke something, didn't you? Shh, hush, little one. Now's not the time. We'll, uh, cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh, for fuck's sake, Amiya. Oh, I think Oliver found it. Anyway, shall we? Time to face the music. Ooh, it's bumping in here. Hey, everyone, look, we decided to show up. Oh, thanks for making it uncomfortable as all hell. Ha ha ha. All right, Talia, let's relax and scope out the scene. It's filled with their keys and a bunch of random business cards. A hmm, little bit of a, a mixer, a swear party co concocting here. What are you just standing around for? Have a drink, take a hit, and just chill out already. Not everyone's here yet. But why don't you catch up with those guys till then? These guys? Who all is coming? I don't know, people? Lots of them? Maybe? You'll know soon enough. That sounds... concerning. Yeah, that's, uh, too many people sound scary. Beer, beer, and more beer. Probably should have one. Who brought their goofy little dog? Hey, ZZ, I missed you. Oh, it's a cat. ZZ meows contentedly. All right, well, that's even better. Sup, Bronco? Shh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your name is Bronco. Ooh, he's an all lowercase. Maybe that means he's a, he's a quiet boy. Hey, Talia. Nice jacket. Thanks, man. Haven't washed it in weeks. Hmm. How you liking the party? Hit me with some wisdom. Bronco, hit me with some wisdom. If you raised your fish as a squirrel, it could climb up trees. I don't believe you for a second. Ask him to explain further. Yes, I feel like uh, we can't leave that hanging. It's real simple. Imagine the force a fish needs to live, okay? Like, to swim around and shit, right? Take that energy and put it in squirrel mode, and boom, you got yourself a squirrel fish. Nah, I can't say that. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to keep a sharp eye, not fall into some default auto read everything on screen. This is a lot to take in, man. Yeah, don't worry. I felt the same way at first. But once you get that shit, you fucking get it, bro. Wild. Keep thriving, Bronco. Mmm. Stay woke, Talia. Always. Well, that was an eye-opening experience. I'm a new woman. I have a new lease on life. Oh, you suck it up and you eat that pineapple pizza. It's delicious. It's my personal favorite. Hey, uh, Solomon. Yo, how you doing? You know, I also just noticed that Bronco's name has a period at the end of it. Like where it says Talia on screen right now. Whenever it typed out Bronco, his had a period. You know, hanging in there. Hanging in there. Yeah? That's dope. Good to hear. I tried texting you, but I didn't... Say you've been busy, say your phone is messed up. Act like you haven't seen any of his texts. Uh, I don't want to say I'm busy, because then I have to try and make alibis. My phone's messed up, man. 
Oh, right, I'm sorry. My phone's been acting weird lately. It's like, I'll get a text, but it'll say it's from a few hours ago. Then at that point, it's like, should I even respond? Is it too late? Does he already hate me? So, yeah. Uh -huh. It's fine. I totally get it, really. I'm absolutely convinced by this story. Besides, I started hating you a long time ago, so no worries there. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna say hi to everyone else. Don't want to give anyone the cold shoulder, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. We'll talk on later, cool? Bet! <laughs> I'm just all stoked on the possibility of bet. Oh shit, she's here! Huh, I wonder what that's all about. Yeah, go let them in if you're all excited about it. Trash, I think. Uh, it's... maybe we've kind of lost our frame of reference with our own, like, poorly kept apartment, you know? Oh my god, Viv, it's been so long. Oh. Hi, Talia. How are you? I'm good. You? Mm, seems like maybe we've, uh... We're on a bad note with Viv right now. They don't seem too happy to see us. Fine. Yeah? That's awesome. Awesome. Yep. Maybe we were, like, good friends back in the day. Crap. This is more awkward than I wanted it to be. Think fast, Talia. Ask her what's new. Compliment her outfit. Uh, what's new? I don't know when, how long it's been since I've seen her, so I don't want to say what's new. What if it's been like a year? Mm, I love your outfit. Where'd you get it? Oh, my sister gave this to me. She gained a little extra weight after the baby, so free clothes for me. Well, I think it looks great on you. Uh, thanks, I guess. Hey, I'm going to go get a drink. Be back in a bit. Have fun. Oh, man. I hope she's still not mad at me. Seems like she super is. I probably shouldn't bother her again. I don't want to annoy her even more. I wonder what you did. It's packed with beers. Oh, and I guess a few bits of food here and there. What kind of books you guys got on your shelf? I'm fairly certain neither of them have actually read any of these. Long time no see. Oh, Penelope, new character. Hey, Atalia, you're right on cue. Yeah, you actually help us solve something real quick. Oh, you can, you can actually. Oh, God, there's so much pressure. All right, so in your opinion, and for the record, this is a terrible question, by the way, if you absolutely had to choose, would you rather be shot or stabbed? Oh, fuck that, uh, shot, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It would be seems like it would be over quicker God damn. I don't know. That is horrible. That freaks me out so hard. Uh, I don't know. Where would I be? Where would it be? I guess your arm So not gonna kill you, but it still hurt like a bitch. Oh Okay, in that case Shots I don't want to say neither or both. I want to participate in this stupid hypothetical, but I also, you know, you don't want to say both and seem like a weird f sadistic freak. Definitely shot. It's a lot quicker, you know? Ha! <laughs> Told ya. Oh, fine. Whatever. You guys do you. Have fun being wrong. You'd rather be stabbed? It seems messed up. It's a weird question. They were right about that. So, Talia, what's been up? Nothing much, just, you know, chilling, doing my thing. <laughs> oh, sorry about your job, by the way. Amiya told me about it. What they did to you is just... Ugh, makes my blood boil. It's fine, really. I kind of had it coming. Yeah? How so? Yeah, come on, give us some details. I've only got bits and pieces of it, so... Oh, well... Say, you'll tell them another time, change the subject, make up an excuse to leave the table. I don't think that's going to apply, since I don't see a table anywhere. <laughs> I'll tell you another time, guys. It's a long story. Okay? Aw, oh, man, you suck. <laughs> Give her a few drinks, she'll be rambling in no time. <laughs> we'll see. Rambling? Is that what I do? I think I kind of do. I can relate. Listen, I'm going to say hi to everyone else. Uh, it's been a while. That's cool. Don't let us keep you. 
Yeah, we'll hang out later on. Later, Talia. What's up, Amia? Who's here? Who are you all pumped about? What's going on? Hello! Oh, god damn it. Why were you so excited about this, Amia? Oh. Is this like an ex of ours or something? Oh my god, it's been like so long. How are you guys? Oh, Amia, guess who I saw the other day? Who? Guess! Guess! <laughs> Bitch, if you don't just tell me. Mother fucking Gabby! No way! Oh, she's getting on board. Yes! <laughs> I don't know what my Becky voice is. It seems it's not as Becky as I want it to be, but it's as Becky as I'm capable of at the moment. Who the fuck is Gabby? Now that's a name I haven't heard in years. Solomon, didn't you take her to sophomore homecoming? Yeah. She left me halfway through to go make out with some other dude. Bet it was Bronco. Bitch. Oh, he really got the blood boiling. Did you talk to her at all? Oh my god, I tried not to, but then we made eye contact? Then at that point, it's like, fuck, you know? Damn it, Talia. You're not saying anything. Get involved. Stop being weird already. Ask who Gabby is. Smile and laugh like you know what's up. Take a sip of your drink to distance yourself. Say nothing and keep being insufferably awkward. This... These options... They make me want to curl up and die inside. Like, when you're already feeling self-conscious that you're not, like, taking part in the conversation or whatever, and then, like, just randomly chiming in with something is probably going to go poorly, and then you're going to feel shittier about it. And it's just the fucking worst. Ask who Gabby is? No, people, you're probably supposed to know who Gabby is. Smile and laugh like you know what's up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, anyway, then I just kind of dashed out, and... God damn it. Why do I always have to be like this? Then, a little later, I saw... You're such a dipshit. Oh, man, I love that. They probably don't even like you. I don't know what's... I don't know, it's, I think it's just your own thoughts are creeping in, getting a little more extreme. It's cool how the, the screen is getting staticky too, like we're just disassociating fully, like things are collapsing. You ever think he'd stop? None of them even want you here. Oh god, we're getting like our heartbeat in like our own ears now. <laughs> That's great, I can't believe- See, they're not even paying any attention to you. Like you're not here. Like you don't even exist. Wait, isn't that the guy from, why are you even here in the first place? You don't belong here. And then he made some stupid excuse, like, get out while you still have some dignity left. Uh, then we're just going to go get drunk by ourselves again and eat shitty old pizza and have a miserable night. It's just going to keep spiraling. Damn, what a, why are you still here? You're making it even more awkward by staying. It's almost like he, stop. Just stop. Leave! Leave now! I... I have to go to the bathroom. Hmm? Oh, okay. Don't die. Jesus, it's a fucking kind of a weird thing to say. I'm already kind of wigging out super hard here, so we're just bailing. Bitch, do you even know where you're going? Pathetic. I don't know. I don't know where the bathroom is over here. This just looked like a weird corner. That's Amia's room. Stupid. Probably shouldn't go through this behind their backs. Just, okay. Okay, relax. Breathe. This is a waste of time. Stay calm. You should never have come here. It'll be alright. They don't like you. No one likes you. Breathe. Breathe. You're worthless. Pathetic. I... Uh, you... Should. Just. I don't like where this is going. Enough. Oh, I'm fine. Pulling it together. We're fine. I'm all right now. I'm safe. It's okay. I'm okay. 
feel like it was getting a little uh, suicidal there. And it was kind of much more than kind of heavy. I think I've had enough partying for one day. Time to go home. We could uh, just poke around the bathroom for a minute. Now oh, the countless times I've yacked in this thing with Amia by my side. Good times. Ugh, there's a speck of toothpaste on the side. That's never coming off. It's dried on there forever. Clean as a whistle. No thanks to Oliver, probably. I don't know him, but maybe he's a clean freak. Shouldn't judge him. You probably know better. Probably shouldn't go through this behind their backs. Just a bunch of boxes, probably for storage. Oliver's room. He'd kill me if I went in and messed with his shit. But maybe we do it anyway? There's moaning sounds. Yep, yeah, nope, fuck that. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's him. He was outside. Yeah, I tried to interact with it again. You're, you still can't go into it at all. Uh, was this Oliver? I should try and let him know, maybe? Oh, God, I love Ollie. He's such a sweet guy. Homie needs to fix that hairline, though. <laughs> We're just gonna have a minor compliment and insult smushed together there. Probably shouldn't bother her again. Becky? I don't really need to talk to Becky. I'm already over this party. Do we let... Do we let Amia know we're bailing? I just hope I'm not leading Solomon on. Hey! Uh, what's your deal? You don't look too hot. Sweet, thanks for pointing that out again. Yeah, uh... Say you're feeling tired, not feeling well, an emergency, just tell her straight up. Ha! <laughs> Funny, but nah. Hmm, not a real option, hey? Fuck. Say you're feeling not well. They don't have to say it's an emergency. Then people are just gonna have follow-up questions. Yeah, I'm I'm not feeling too good. I, I should head home. What? What happened? Who hurt you? No, nobody. It's it's just a little headache. I promise. Talia, I know. I'll make it up to you another time. Okay. Text me when you get home. Bitch, I live down the hall. Bitch, I don't care. I want to know you're safe. Let me love you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just frustrating the hell out of each other. Bronco, got any words of advice before I bail? Back again, Bronco. Mm. How how you liking the party? I I don't know if I need more of your particular brand of wisdom. How you liking the party so far? It's cool. Cool people. Cool vibes. I dig it. Hell yeah. You think some wild shit is gonna go down tonight or nah? Uh, are you kidding me? Uh, of course. Psh, yeah. This is the spot, after all. Yeah, true. I feel like it's been kind of quiet, though, lately. Yeah, the last few parties have been pretty chill, but there's nothing wrong with that. I actually prefer the chiller nights, you know? Hmm. I dig it. Any night I'm alive is a good night for me. So I could go either way. Yeah, I, I feel you. I kind of wish I did. I wish I felt you. Because you, it seems like you're a quiet, kind of self-involved dude. But it seems like you kind of got some stuff figured out. So keep thriving, Bronco. Mm. Stay woke, Dahlia. <laughs> I like that he throws that out every time we leave. It's a little bit of a catchphrase. Sorry. Please forgive me. Hello? That's not our dog, is it? Oh, oh, man. That was awful. I suck. I should go back. But I already left. Wouldn't that look bad? Oh, forget it. Too late now. You can for sure go back and just be like, ah, I, have a, I, I got my second wind. And people would just be nothing but pumped. Is that Lowry? Did he break out? It totally is. How did you... Oh, shit. Hey, Lowry, get back here. I think we do have a dash button, so I'm, I'm going full on dash to chase after this little boy. Can't let our precious little bean get away. Where did everyone go? And how did the dog use an elevator? What's going on outside? It's never this quiet in here. Out of all the places to have bookcases, why here? It is a little, a little strange, isn't it? Nothing of interest. More grandfather father clocks. 
Unlike the one in my apartment, this one actually works. Nothing. Front desk. Strange. Phyllis is always here. What are we busting out into? Okay. It's a little whack. Oh, my God. Ari, welcome to Oblivion. Ari, what are you doing, sweetie? Well, please come back from Oblivion. It's uh, time for your nap. What is this place? I'll give you treats. If you just come back to mommy. Huh. Where'd he go? Okay, Talia, relax, breathe. All right, so you're still dreaming, I think. That's cool. That's fine. Completely fine. Okay, now that we've got the acceptance part of the program over with, let's find Lari and look for a way out of here. I'm gonna wake up eventually, right? Yeah. Yeah, no reason to think this is anything more than just a standard-ass dream. Everything's gonna be hunky-dory. Hey, hey little poochie. Talk to dogs to save and restore your HP and SP. Okay, Guinness? Arf arf. You're all healed up. Good luck out there. Chat with Guinness? Have you seen any purple skulls floating around? Yeah, once. Oddly specific. I heard they try to attack you if you get close to them. Oh, so maybe it's not random encounters. That's how you like see an encounter coming. So I'm gonna stay right here. I've got nice bone to chew on too. You enjoy, Guinness. Be safe. Ah, oh, you too, buddy. Guinness is a cute name for a dog. I dig it. It won't open. I think I need a key. Uh, yeah. Do not have a key. Maybe it's a generic key because it didn't. Uh, it didn't force something specific, it kind of just opened up my inventory, so it might, there might be generic keys for opening things. Ah, hopefully this doesn't. Super soda! Hell yeah, that sounds even better than the regular stuff that we already like. Magic, super, ooh, 40%, 70%. Espresso, completely fills your LP bar. Ooh, jazz up your limit. A more energizing, yet equally nasty beverage. I guess uh, Talia's not a coffee fan. All right, I guess we're getting into a little bit of a, a rumble here. Oh, we gotta fight two of them? Nuts. A and B. I never even really learned how to deal with their, like, their shielding or whatever exactly is going on. No heart is what these things are known as. I missed that previously. All right, I don't understand what the shield on their health bar means at all then. Maybe, maybe that, oh, see? It even shows up there, too. Maybe uh, there's a way I could lower their defense, or... The question mark is maybe what their specific weakness is, and I just haven't, like, figured out what this specific enemy's weakness is yet. Seems like there's, a uh, There'll be a bit to learn in this game. I wonder... If I go back and save at Guinness to recharge, if that also means that the enemies will respawn? Ah, level up again. So... Things should start becoming a little easier once I get a few a few levels in me. That also recharges all your stuff too. So that's a that's an effective way to get that. Can't inspect the seas or the moons. Probably s s s moons. <laughs> oblivion key. Oh well, that's useful seeing as we're in oblivion. That torch up there looks kind of weird. It's a lot of black light, whereas all the rest of it is very blue. So I wanted to try and interact with that specifically in some way, but it doesn't seem like I really can. I guess uh, I guess I, I quickly save, since we got to run past this boy anyways, and apparently no auto saving has taken place. So seems like it would be a, a smart idea. A key that opens a door in this hellhole can only be used once before breaking. It's rusty and all gross looking. That was a fun open effect. Oh, he's gone. Bubba, if I were you, I'd pay close attention to the turn or order bar during battle. With it, you can see exactly when someone's turn is coming up and strategize accordingly. If you're crafty enough, you might even be able to defeat an enemy before their turn even comes up. Just a thought, meow. Thanks, Bubba. Paprika. Aw, oh, these have so many cute animal names. Hey, want to know something cool? Once your LP bar fills up to 100, you can perform limits. These skills are super powerful, and they can turn the tide of a battle in an instant. Other than attacking normally, if you strike an enemy's weakness, 
you'll gain even more LP to fill the bar even faster. You'll know if you if you've hit it if you notice a little animation go off. So experiment with different skills and enemy combinations. You won't regret it. Meow. <laughs> gotcha. Tax. I think I like tax better than tax. Tax just reminds me of all the bills to pay. I don't have any tips. Just wanted to say hello. Although if I were you, I would just give up while you're ahead. But that's just me. Meow. Okay, well I liked you for a second there. Then it turned out you were a little prick. Just encouraging me to give up. Fuck you, Tax. You're a, a bastard. Ooh. So we got, like, no heart and then lovers, no romance. Hmm. All right, well, let's try and just see if we can see a little animation that might indicate a weakness. See, that seemed quite regular. And I would rather just take care of this thing, deal with the enemies one at a time. Now I can see if I can figure out the, the weakness for no romance. A regular attack probably isn't. See, I don't think there's anything special there. And shock, we didn't read about that. Do something shocking to the enemy, deals lightning damage. I'm gonna use the burn again just to see. That didn't seem like it did a ton of damage. It wouldn't make me think that that was a weakness hit. Weak. Ah, no romance is weak to, to Frozen. I wish it was a little more noticeable than just a tiny little word weak like that. There's not like there's a lot much else on screen I have to be paying attention to or whatever, but it would it seems like it would help at least slightly. And a slight bit of help could make a big difference. It's an angel reading a book. She looks so peaceful. They'll leave her to it then. Maybe it's a good read. Don't want to interrupt. Ooh, that one kind of snuck up on me. Oh, shit. All right, busy battle. Devil Child uses Poison Cloud and nothing happens, luckily. I wonder if I should have healed up a little bit. Is this saying that these characters have two weaknesses? Uh, I don't have any... Well, I have a limit that can hit everyone, right? Decrease... Uh, okay, to tax all enemies decreases my speed and defense. But I want to try and do it. I want to try and limit break these guys. Boom! Oh, come on. The Devil Child stayed alive with like next to nothing you're probably weak to frozen right if you're a if you're a devil nah no such luck with that probably a shitload of xp though that's got to be enough to level up hell yeah new skills water sometimes when the, f the froze the freezing stuff is a bit too much if you want to take it down a notch or up i should say up a few degrees to the liquid form of of hydro capabilities and you just use regular water I, I'm kind of curious what chamomile tea is is specifically good for actually never mind this is the most delicious thing in the world and it heals an insane amount really really strong uh, nothing nothing else noteworthy Tori it's still not Larry crap arf arf you're healed and good to go chat there's a lot of flames in here for some reason. Seems like quite the fire hazard, don't you think? Especially with the amount of flammable things around here. But oh well, I'm not the one who designed this place. Be safe, friend. Aw. Uh, Talia is friend of Tori. Uh, yeah, I didn't really question all the torches. I, I, I always do wonder who is in charge of torch maintenance, who's keeping them all ablaze. It's an angel holding a cracked sword. Talk about attention to detail. <laughs> the detail is that they made the sword a little bit broken. God, I want to go home. There was a text on the screen for half a second there that I kind of accidentally avoided. Cracked sword, talk about attention to detail. Seems like it's just broken. I do not have a key necessary. Just a, a quick little book, an epitaph or something. If one wishes to pass through, then one must acquire the power of two. Hmm. Ah, I see. It's not like a riddle. I mean, it is a riddle, but it's not like I need to find an item that has to do with number two. Tee hee. Nah, I just have to find a friend. Damn it, it won't open. Doesn't look like a key will do anything either. Alright, probably gotta go downstairs, get a key, go to that other room, find a partner, take it to the, uh, the, the, the double, the double button area there. Ooh, I see you, spooky ghost. I'm ready for ya. 
So I don't think I've actually learned the weakness of any of these things. Let's see. Water. Where the water comes from, I have no clue. Dreams, am I right? Deals water damage with a 50% chance of soaking the enemy. Alright, well first things first, a jogger not. Try and burn one of them. Tell them that they run like a big Gumby. They look like a Gumby and they run like a Gumby. Seems like that would uh, psych them out by quite a lot. Three versus one is a, a little unfair. It makes me look that much more forward to finding uh, someone to come help me out with some of this. Ah, uh, there we go, yes. Okay, so it works how I thought it would. That by hitting, oh, and the shield. I think the shield is to show us that we've hit uh, its weakness once. Because if you did hit something with weakness twice, it, gets, it stuns them. So he's one more away from being stunned. Uh, but it totally reveals that he is weak to, to lightning. And I was hoping that that's what that would be, where the question mark is, and that it would be a permanent reveal so I don't have to memorize this stuff. I kind of have to remember what I've tried against different enemy types, but oh, this game made it so much easier on me than it really had to. And I'm so grateful for it, because it would be such bullshit to not do it the way that it is doing it now. Having those sorts of on-screen aids like that is so insanely appreciated. Uh, maybe water will be Devil Child's weakness. What? I added a second question mark to him. Hmm. Uncertain what that meant. How or why it added another one like that. I think I tried freezing him the first time around. Ah, he's weak to fire and to flame somehow? That, like, wasn't, didn't show it to me before. Alright, it looks like he's, uh, kind of gonna burn down. So I'm just gonna leave him to it. And experiment with finding other weaknesses for this guy. Oh, it's not gonna do quite enough damage, is it? Oh, shit. I'm, uh, I need to, I need to heal up big time. Did not realize how bad that was getting. Uh, I can get away with just using regular green tea. I don't actually have that much health. I gotta keep a better eye on that. I almost just totally died. Oh, come on. You're gonna live with that tiny, minuscule amount of health? Alright, F you, dude. You're just getting regular attack to put an end to that. I, am, I ain't letting that ride out any further. I, I tell you what. I've definitely done most things to this at this point. So water is on the list. Water and lightning. Uh, I for sure have done fire. I thought I had done frost. No, okay, he's got a lot of weaknesses. So it's like, did they, do they have a guaranteed number of weaknesses and some of them kind of have secret weaknesses? It's unclear how that breaks down. Why there are extra ones that become revealed like that. Do I need three people for this one? There's text here, but it's scrambled to hell. Hmm. Maybe it's best not to worry about it for now. Hmm. I wonder if I'm bumping up against walls of the demo, where it's like that would be something, but it's not something I can do in the demo. I just want to see if I can sneak past that guy. Ah, new enemies, so I still don't get to have memorized what they're weak against. The block boys. I have no idea what is it. I assumed he would be weak to fire because he's a block. Uh, I wasn't really sure. But, like, what are the what are the enemies when it's like uh, no romance and and no heart and things like that? It's like okay, maybe it's manifestations of things I perceive as issues with myself. Uh, and then boxes are just like you know things around the apartment. It's just like a, it's just a cube, just a, a an empty box that I never bothered to do anything with back from when I moved or or some such nonsense. Uh, it's very unclear where a lot of these enemies are coming from or how they work. So two weaknesses found on that guy quite easily. But a third question mark showed up at the end there. That it has n it seemingly had nothing to do with anything, so I don't know. I, I would like to stop and heal and save, I think. If I can find such a place. Turns out it's a loop. Mana bar. Oh, but it's probably like a, a food item, right? Not like a bar tracking my mana. A grainy bar that refreshes your spirit. It also tastes like shit. <laughs> Increase SP by 10. That doesn't mean permanently, does it? 
we are going to mess around with that. Uh, first, let me look at like my my stats. Status of Talia. Uh, general parameters. Oh, offense, defense, magic attack, speed. Look at all that. Stats. Battles initiated, 8 out of 8. Uh, enemies defeated, deaths. I've died? How did I manage that? You just start the game with one death? Damage dealt, damage taken, healing performed, healing received, blah, blah, blah. So what about... Uh, I do just kind of want to see... Specifically, SP maxes out at 40. Okay, that was that was what I was trying to find anyways. So in that case, use on Talia? Yeah, I think that's a permanent boost. Dope! I don't know if she was the right character to spend that on. Maybe there's other characters that it would be more useful for, but I'll take it. There's the key that I presumed would be found down here. Called it! I, I'm a little nervous. I don't know if uh, enemies are gonna like repopulate up here. Oh, I'll be fine, because now I can just save anyways. Then I, then I don't have to concern myself. And now here is probably where I'll find uh, a buddy, a friend, to come help me along. We can clear that next little bit. Laurie, quit cheesing out of here like that. That seems like a good uh, hole to fall down. Oh, it's just a black carpet. It's hard to tell when it, the linoleum is black and the tile work is black and the walls are black and the roof and the water and the carpet. It, it's hard to tell if it's a hole or just decorative. Laurie, where'd you go, boy? Big fan of Hugh Laurie, maybe? I think that's spelled differently. Shit, what now? The dog didn't just jump straight into the water, did it? Oh, nuts. Wait a sec. Hey -o! Who there? Oliver? Amia? Sub loser? How you holding up? Wait, stay back. These things are dangerous. Has that ever stopped me? Oh, you pissed them off now. Bring it on. Oh, way to step into the game there, Amia. Giving it your all. Ah, uh, her hair looks extra cool there. Oh, the, the creepy half floating angel thing is kind of wigging me out a little bit. Ooh, at least I know that these things are weak to freeze. The Karis. Some sort of a cupid, cupid creature. Wait, so is it weak to water and frost? Did I somehow dis discover that by attacking it with frost? Or fire, that's fire, not, yeah. What is going on? Oh, because it's frozen, has it become weak to fire? There's some sort of one-two combo thing that goes on maybe? Gouge is a cool thing, apparently. Can people be weak to things like cool and text and whatever all these are? Go for the eyes. They don't need them anyway. Deals damage with a 50% chance of blinding. Yell at the enemy. Make them feel bad. Chance of silencing them. Get in the zone. Increase one party's attack for five turns. Insult. Don't hold anything back. Verbally, that is. Lowers the enemy's defense for two turns. Has a 50% chance of stunning the enemy. So the way that... Oliver was like a, uh, um, what would you call it? A support character who healed you and stuff. Ami is a support character as well, but kind of for like bringing down others. Try and gouge some eyes. Oh, it damaged everyone. I misunderstood that actually. Oh, god damn. That did way more damage than I was prepared for. Uh, do we take a second to try and heal our friend? I think we try and kill some of these things. Maybe try and, uh, make things a little easier on ourselves yeah you're gonna have to you're gonna have to take a second to heal yourself uh yeah you you chug yourself down some tea because you're not making it through this battle otherwise the chassis is delivering a sick burn oh you fainted it you bitch fainted her uh shock i don't know i don't, I don't know what this thing is weak to yet so i, I kind of just have to start experimenting Fuck. I, I, oh, I was scared, I was scared of that. The gang didn't make it. Oh, shit. Sweet dreams. I won't give up, retry. Let's take it back a bit and load. I can't do this anymore. And quit. No, I won't give up. Retry. Maybe we just, uh, 
take a oh weird the the battle music didn't kick back in that might be a little bit of a, a demo bug perhaps all right well i did get to learn that shock doesn't work on on the karis so i should i should experiment with some other things maybe i gotta do what i can to stop that uh character from attacking Ooh, maybe we can silence them throw in a hissy fit Oh, silence two characters, I think, which is, uh, should go a long ways. Water? I've tried a lot of shit on this already. Ah, well, it's dead. I don't think it ended up being weak to that either. Enough of that. Okay. Slow your roll. It's, it's, it's too much. Uh, try to try and blind everyone. It's already silenced. You could be silenced and blind. Maybe we, uh, ruin their sense of taste next. Just try and get, like, a nice, well-rounded bit of punishment against these characters. Shit, did that reflect back at me in some way? It kind of looked like it, but I may have misinterpreted what the hell happened. Wow! Okay. Maybe I just attack with a Amiya more often. Seems pretty damn strong. I leveled up again? What about Amiya? Where are you at? Ah, maybe she's already, like, level 4 or 5 or something. Oh, not too shabby, huh? Thanks, I owe you one. Several, actually, but hey, who's counting? Now, you want to tell me what those freaks were? No clue. All I know is that this place is infested with them. I tried to go back home, but the way back is blocked. Not to mention Laurie's somewhere in here and I can't find him. So, here we are. Which begs the question, how did you get here? I went to go check on you after you left, but you weren't home. I like how the text box follows characters. It's kind of nice. Helps keep things organized. One thing led to another, and boom, I ended up here. Hmm. What about Oliver? Hell if I know. Hopefully he's still at the party? If not, then hopefully he comes and helps? <laughs> I would appreciate that. Look, I appreciate the help. I really do, but you really shouldn't have come here. I was fine. Yeah, because this is just sunshine and roses, right? Either way, now we're both stuck in this mess, and it's all my fault. Dude, chill. Ain't no use worrying about it now. Besides, we gotta find Lari. And with any luck, we'll find a way out too, right? Maybe. Probably? Hopefully. Right, so let's get a move on, yeah? Ain't no use just standing around here. Alright, fair enough. Thank you. Thank you. I might not sound like I mean it, but you're the best. Oh, I know. Lead the way, homie. And Mia, join the party. She'll definitely be a huge help. Though she can immediately help with that puzzle that requires two people. I'm for sure saving up right now, too. Now that uh, now that the party's in, in better shape. Look at us go. There's a pair of bad bitches ready to take on the world. So I'm guessing once we pop on top of these uh, buttons here, it'll just automatically initiate something. Yeah, because it didn't introduce the mechanic of us walking through things separately. We just are so in sync as friends. We didn't have to stop and discuss at all. Wow, this place almost smells as bad as your room. Come on. <laughs> I thought you were here to help. Not just to make me feel worse and worse about myself. Girl, don't start with me. Ah, uh, we can throw it back and forth a little bit, and then then it's not quite so personal if we can have a, a good joke about it along the way, right? This, uh, jokes amongst friends. Several paths lie in wait, but only one shant leads you astray. Hmm, shant isn't thrown around <laughs> nearly enough. Such a powerful, compelling word. What do you think? Am I going to have to interpret a riddle at each junction? Seek out the light and you'll be alright. So there's like these floating orbs. That would be my initial thinking. Uh, if any torches are lit. Okay. That's super straightforward. Uh, I'm not going to immediately go through with it though. Because I, I just want to backtrack through here. There was this uh, way I could also go... It's locked. That was kind of what I assumed was going to be going on over there, but I wanted to confirm it. Alright, same rules I'm guessing are going to apply this time. 
And I just repeatedly keep following the torches. Is it going to start switching it up on... Oh, Jesus, it startled me a little bit. I was curious if it was going to start switching it up on me. Like, some would be half lit and one would be fully lit or something to try and shake things up a little bit. Hmm. I think I'm going to just commit to the limit break. Yeah, we'll just take it out on everyone. <laughs> try and Okay, it deals even more damage than I thought it did. I just figured try and end things nice and quickly. Gain a lot of experience nice and quickly. Level level us up some. Oh, she's got the I didn't realize it was her hood that was up. I thought she had long hair that was dyed two different colors. She got the she has the half shaved twice strike new skill for her. That was another thing. I thought it would be good to maybe just give a quick experience boost so everyone could be a little bit stronger. Uh, do like the limit breaks, take everyone out while I'm strong enough or the enemies are weak enough to do so, that sort of thing. There was a lot of, it seemed like the right move. I stand by it. Oh, oh uh, hi. I wonder if this is the guy who was super wasted at the party. Wasn't expecting to see anyone else here. He got so drunk that he's on some whole other dreamscape adventure dealing with his uh, his mad hangover. It's a spin-off game that's in development. He dreams drunk as fuck. This, that makes three of us. Yeah, tell me about it. Ugh. How'd you get here? Have you seen a dog running around? Anything we can do to... Ah, uh, let's... Yeah, we can try and help a little bit, I guess, rather than just being... Like, rude to the guy. He doesn't know what's going on either. Uh, is there any way we can help? You can tag along if you... No, no, I'm fine. I'm good. Just peachy. Uh, I'm enough of a burden on myself anyway. Leave me be. I'll figure it out. Mm. So are we encountering other characters that are dealing with, like, depression and, and internal struggles? Things like that? Sure about that? Yeah. Well, uh, I guess we ought to get going. Be safe, will you? Uh, I'll try. You be safe, too. I'd hate to see what else is lurking around here. Maybe this guy got roughed up down here by something. But yeah, I think that would be curious if we started... Our, our dream world, or whatever you would call it, is starting to transect with other people's. Uh, I'm going to try and take out the, the Karis as quickly as possible. Yeah, because that shit... Because of that shit very specifically. Did I not figure out what this thing was weak against? I thought for sure that I did. Lightning? Oh, no, no, no. Because now, right now, the character is wet. You can see right of the health bar. There's like one water thing. So lightning, a follow-up of lightning would be the way to go. Uh, your regular attack is pretty damn strong. You should probably just try and take this thing out. I think that's the best move. You can worry about doing um, any of your follow-up magic stuff in a second here once we kind of figure out how to keep ourselves afloat. It's feeling a little bit risky. I'm kind of pushing it. Can you heal yourself, actually? You might not be able to. We might need Oliver or someone like for that. Twice strike is what you've learned. Sometimes you just got to ball out. Attack two random enemies with a 50% increase in damage. Ooh. That's pretty strong. It costs seven SP. Ah. She doesn't have nearly as much SP to begin with. Uh, I guess you can just chug some tea then. I'm trying to be conservative with it, but... I don't know. These things are starting to deal more and more damage. To a degree that is, is sketching me out, and I, I don't think I should flirt with too, too hard. Probably just focus on staying alive is a is a, a better bet. I think that the game is smart enough that when there's only one target, it doesn't bother. It doesn't bother with showing like the differences and being like make you choose who you want to attack. It's like, yeah, if you're attacking, there's only the one choice anyways. Safe and sound. That's possibly enough for Talia. There we go, yeah. Does it say anywhere on here how far away I am from the next one? I know I can look that up on separate screens, but it does not appear to show up on that one. Just because now I, I would really like to level up Amia, and uh, just as a good excuse to heal her in between battles. Oh, I saw the dog scooting off that time. Well, good thing they made navigating that path so damn easy. Thank God. 
It was uh, almost absurd how simple it was. And it fast-tracked me back. Thank you, game. Because I did not want to have to run backwards through all that. Although I'm sure, you know, if I did it, quote, incorrectly just once, then it would take me back to the start. So, yeah, it was going to work either way then. Riley! Oh, and is that... That's not Oliver, is it? Maybe? I honestly, uh... Don't know what most of these characters look like. It's hard when there's not colors helping to distinguish them. What do you have to say, Riley? I'm scared. I wish I had a treat right about now. Please be careful. I'm sorry to hear that, bud. I wish I had a treat for you, too. It is just Amia. Okay, it's confusing from the back of the head there. We're in the home stretch now. I can feel it. God, I sure hope so. You're leaving me behind? No, you're technically still in the party. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Things are getting a little wacky out here. Extra, extra fun. I, I believe. It's just uh, bright, pretty, and enjoyable. Ah, sweet, sweet freedom. I'm not sure I'd call this freedom just yet, but okay. At least it's something. Fair enough. Just going to look out and enjoy the view. Soak it all in. Sure is pretty, though. Oh, shit. Who's this dude? Oh, is this the the robed character from way back? Ah, uh, Talia. Nope. No, just a evil-seeming version of Lowry. There you are. We've been looking all over for... Uh, for, uh... What? Something's off. Lari, come here, boy. Oh, I don't like when you make big, epic, intense stomping noises when you advance on us like that. That's not the good boy that we know. Is it just me, or does he look a little murdery? Lari? Oh, that's an intense roar. I like the screen doesn't even break the same every time, so that's super cool. Sorry, no, bad dog. Very bad dog. Like, that's, yeah, that's his tailed legs and stuff in the, in, like, pointing upwards. And there's something coming out or off of his face. Like a hand. What the hell is going on? Please, I don't want to hurt you. Neither of us do. What in... Lori psychs up. He's now even stronger. What the hell is going on? He's got an attack boost for five turns. Jesus. Uh, well, I'm not going to know what you're weak against or anything, so I'm totally just going to have to wing it. Fire. Fire was a good bet, apparently. Uh, I'm going to take... Oh, I could try and blind him or, or any of that stuff. Uh, I'm going to psych up... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use Talia for attacks. I'm going to use Amelie, Am Amia... For, uh, for, like, support stuff as much as possible. Even though her attack is quite strong. Ah, now she's frozen. Shit. Well, then, what, el what else are you going to be weak against here, boy? All right. That figured that out awfully quickly, didn't we? Uh, I was lucky I froze him. So, if, what if I use... I'll, I want to try and soak him. 50-50 on that? No, nah, no luck. Waves of dark energy across the party. I want to see if I can soak him and then throw the lightning at him. Shit, that didn't that didn't go well. Uh, insult lowers enemy's defense for two turns and 50% chance of stunning. That's pretty good. Nice. Okay, we managed to get another stun. Uh, I, I guess I'll. I, mm, I guess I'm just gonna commit to the things I know he's weak against, especially if you do two of those in a row. I wasn't really taking advantage of that. Uh, we could try and blind. Dude, both of these are going to land against the dog, though. So I might as well just use... Ah, uh, that wasn't that strong. It's pretty well not worth it. At least I didn't get frozen that time. Uh, unless you're specifically pulling off of weaknesses here. So, like, that is way stronger. Now you're shocked and everything. Which, thank goodness, I kind of needed... <laughs> I needed... Him to be shocked big time. Oh my god, look at all these status effects that are piling up against my characters there. Against slash four. I think all those are against, though. Ugh, Lori, come on, enough of this. 
He's gotta chill out soon, right? Oh, he's all full of beans. Hey, guys! That's not who I think it is, is it? Hey! Hey, sorry I took so long. I did all like, hey, guys! Because I thought it was gonna be some weird version of Lari. I thought the dog was becoming sentient and talking to us. Great, the gang's all here. Man, we had this covered, though. It was going well. Yo, uh, anybody mind explaining what's going on here? Uh, well... How about we talk after, yeah? Yeah, that's probably, probably a good idea. Oh, shit, he's psyched himself up to get stronger again. Well, we know more or less what he's weak against. Mm, I could try and kind of heal everyone a little. Nah, we'll just commit to the attacks for now. If we just keep using things he's weak against, we should be able to hammer quite a lot of damage on this guy in a, a pretty short amount of time here. Really, it's back to Oliver's turn again? It's kind of, uh, don't really know how that worked out so quickly. It seems like it skipped Amia. Oh! Because even though that, I, like, I don't think the shield came back on Lori's health bar there. You see, now there it is. Oh, shit! And then there was a bunch of extra, extra damages dealt. Well, he's, he's toast now. But because the shield didn't come back, uh, I didn't know whether or not I was properly rebuilding the the stun thing by using the two weakness things in a row, but I think it still worked, even though he was already stunned. I thought it would have to wait till he became unstunned, and then uh, it would have to regenerate that shield, and then that would be a possibility again. It seems kind of unfair almost to chain together stuns. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe that's not what happened, but it certainly seems like it was. In which case, suck it, Lari. Bad dog. Oh, damn. Hefty experience in cash. We should have no problem paying the rent. We just gotta make sure we get back to the real world and that people, you know, are willing to accept whatever weird currency this is. So there's a, a, a few ifs. Hey, you leveled up twice. Shit, did anyone else level up twice? I don't know exactly where everyone was at. And it makes it look like the uh, there's exactly three slots in the party. So I wonder if these are the three characters I'm going to have for the entire game. That's nice. Nice to know that I'm going to have friends with me. Lari. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. We did just kill our dog. Well, hopefully just like a dream representation of our dog. I, I was stuck on an island with Dolph Lundgren last night. So, you know, dreams don't always reflect reality. You all right, kiddo? Uh, no. Absolutely not. I just fought my own dog. Like, actually fought him. Now he's gone? And we're still in whatever the hell this place is. Snow, Amia. I'm not alright. Hey, it's good you're being honest for a change. If it's any consolation, I don't think that was the real Lari. It couldn't have been, you know? This whole place is screwed enough. He was probably another one of those monsters. Yeah, I'm sure the real Laurie is still somewhere around here. This is also fucked. Only one way forward now, I suppose. We're right behind you, homie. Oliver officially joined the party. He's sure to be a great help. I am glad to have you guys. This is very nice for me. Everyone's rounded out together at level 7 there. If we can take it on... Oh, can I stop and, like, talk to you guys? Do you guys want to hang for a minute? How you holding up? Pitch? I'm good. You, on the other hand... Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm trying, Amia. I really am. Yeah, I feel ya. Hey, once we're out of here, let's have a girls' night. We'll go out or chill inside or something. Only if it doesn't end up like New Year's again. Are you ever going to let that go? No. You ho. Bah. Look at that friendship. Now I hope we get to hear that story at some point. Thanks for the help, Ollie. You're a lifesaver. Literally. But not really. We would have been fine without him, I think. It helped. It certainly helped. But we would have been fine. Nah, one of us might have fainted or died or however things work in this world. But one of us would have made it through. No prob. You guys were gone a while, so I got a little worried. Guess I came in the nick of time, huh? Yeah, no kidding. You still a bitch, though. Hey! Amia? What? 
Can't let him feel too good about himself now. Oh, you guys. You give it as hard as you, you give it as hard as you take it. Ah, whatever. Just good to see everyone's like kind of able to joke around a little. So Talia, what exactly is going on here? Good question. Wish I knew. But alas, gotcha. Well, how about an educated guess? Well, long story short, I left the party trying to f tried to find Lari, ended up trapped in here with some demon things. Does that work? Alrighty then. Neat. Well, I've got your back no matter what. So let's get moving and head home, yeah? Definitely. Well, thanks for not questioning this crazy fever dream of mine whatsoever. I mean, you guys are kind of stuck a part of it as well, so it would be kind of awfully hard for you to uh, question things. There looked like something on the ground maybe I could interact with. It seems that the answer is no. Just a bunch of trash? Just trash all over the place, is it? Them some slow-ass doors. <laughs> really took them a minute to get going there, didn't it? Oh, now we're just back at one of these again. Oh, do we have to look in the mirror and tell ourselves that we're pretty instead of being mean to ourselves for a change? Oh, what is this place? Doesn't look like much of an exit, sadly. Maybe it means something much more specific to, uh, to Talia here. Maybe it's like an old mirror that she had in her family home or something. Talia? This... This is the place I saw earlier. Earlier? Yeah. In my... Dream. Oh shit, yeah, right at the beginning with the whole the crazy water effects and everything like that. I'm still dreaming. But I know I'm still dreaming. So why can't I wake up? Uh, lucid dreams. Usually if you have a lucid dream, you wake up like without meaning to. It's pretty rare to stay in it. That's pretty sure you're in a... Coma? Talia, I can't say I really follow. How is it not clear? This is a dream. This isn't real. None of this is real. And I'm just going to sit here and march in place while I think on it. Get a nice march and stride. Get the blood flowing. Go straight to the brain. Talia. If this is all fake, then why does it feel so real? Uh, boring. Think I've had my fill of this, don't you agree? Huh? Who dare? Who dare? Oh, Jesus, what the? Hey, yeah. Long time no see. What did you do? What happened to my friends? That's kind of bullshit. My team was finally starting to feel like it could stand on its own. <laughs> no need to worry. I just did them a simple favor. Now they won't have to deal with your bullshit anymore. Isn't that nice? They should be thanking me. In fact, you should do. Just, who are you? Why won't you leave me alone? Why can't I wake up? Ugh. Always with the why this and the why that. So annoying. Why don't we just skip it and get straight to the fun part, yeah? Oh, Jesus. It's a little much when I'm left on my own. Damn it, what now? Yeah, bail in the mirror. Just go straight for the mirror. It's either going to save you or be a real mirror. And, I don't know, you'll knock yourself unconscious in the process of trying to jump through it. And that's probably better than being killed by a million monsters. So, win-win. Ah, good. It was the good kind of mirror. The useful kind of mirror. Ooh, but we got more of, like, the staticky screen stuff. Which, like, previously was associated with us kind of having a deteriorating mental state when we were starting to kind of uh, way like way down on ourselves and our own thoughts and stuff. Hello? Amia? Oliver? Lari? <laughs> Anyone? God? No, we seem to be quite stuck on our own again. Not only that, but the world is breaking like crazy. Hmm. Purple's really consistently associated with evil, and so the, the Skulls, the evil version of Lari, this guy who's kind of hounding us and being a real jerk about it, and our own, like, personal demon here. Hmm. Alone. Again. Yeah, but I don't want to be. It's for the best. 
We don't deserve them anyway. And they sure as hell didn't want you. That's not true. They were being good friends. Even in our dream version of them, they were good friends. Even If this was like a nightmare, you'd think they would be mean to us as well. But no, they were still helpful. Oh, there's like weird whispering and stuff in the background. It's bugging me out. So here we are. Alone with our thoughts. What could be better? Pretty much literally everything. It's like the worst thing in life. Relax. No need to be afraid. It'll be over soon. Just keep walking. Um, uh, makes me want to turn around when you say shit like that. Won't be much longer now. I'm bailing on this. Fuck you. Hmm. Doesn't trigger any dialogue or anything. I thought for sure if I went back, they would be like, well, you stop that. You can't do that. That's not allowed. All right, I guess forward it is then, seeing as that's the only remaining option. Thanks for the limited choices there, inner asshole. Oh, what's this? Now, I don't know about you, but I can't wait for what happens next. No. Come on. Let's dream together. Ooh, Talia, like, dot, 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 question mark? I It's probably said that all the time, but I, I, I didn't pick up on it before. Forever. Do be continued. Oh, Oh, shit, and we just got a female laugh there, too? So is that Talia laughing to herself, maniacally? Or, like... Jeez, I have no idea. Original music composed by Mimi Page. That is cool that the, uh, is... The music in this was really well done, actually. Very cool, because it's a very difficult tone to set that they were trying to do, and I think it came together very well. Oh, lots of people who contributed to this overall. I, I was uh, mistaken that I thought it was a, a solo dev, but that first name that came up was the is the one who, um, who who first got in contact with me there. Brian Kirby, that name sounds really familiar, but I think I might be I think I might be crazy. Gatsby, written and produced and performed by Akira, featuring Am. I'm just I'm just curious about the the music in this game because it was. Uh, very unique that it's like lyricized musical renditions and everything. Not the sort of thing you would see in a game like this. Well, I'm certainly curious about what comes next. Some of that was getting quite heavy, wouldn't you say? She Dreams Elsewhere, coming 2019. Wishlist on Steam? I'll, I'll for sure have links to all that stuff down below. I need to pull up a Steam page for this. I just want to see if a date was added or anything. It is still listed as early 2019. Hmm. A cool thing that they always they also talk about in the features of the game is customize your characters with the charm system, allowing for a wealth of different playstyles and battle strategies. That didn't come up in the demo, but that's something that I thought sounded cool, that I was uh, quite interested in exploring. It's un unfortunate that it didn't come up in the main game, but something to, or in the in the demo, sorry, but it's something to look forward to in the main game. There's also a lot of opportunities to connect and bond with a diverse cast of characters, with their own intimate narratives. Uh, there's like new game plus modes, a developer commentary mode you can go through to learn more about the game and everything. Definitely interesting soundtrack. Yeah, I think this is a cool one to keep an eye on, guys, for sure. Follow up on the, the links down below, add it to your wish list, and all that good stuff. Because, yeah, I'm certainly curious. I hope you guys uh, have plenty of feedback. Let me know what you think about it, whether or not you're interested in seeing a full series of this when the game is ready and all that fun jazz. What you liked, disliked about the game, anything like that. Yeah, looking forward to talking about it. Glad to have uh, had the opportunity to share it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.